Welcome back, everybody. Kelly Dudzik spent some time here yesterday getting verified answers to your questions about the vaccine. But there are a lot more claims out there on social media that people are sharing that just aren't necessarily the truth. Jason Puckett is taking a look at a few of those tonight. Let's start with the claim, quote, the COVID-19 vaccine really isn't a vaccine in the medical definition of a vaccine, end quote. Why are we talking about this? Well, posts like these have been showing up for months saying that the vaccines aren't legitimate and that taking them could change your DNA or cause other frightening outcomes. So let's verify. Are these claims accurate? Do existing COVID-19 vaccines fail to meet the medical definition of vaccine? Our sources are the CDC, the Department of Health and Human Services, and Dr. Daniel Salmon, a professor at Johns Hopkins with specialties in epidemiology and vaccine safety. So right off the bat, these posts are misleading. They talk about the medical definition of a vaccine, but there isn't just one single definition. The DHHS actually lists multiple types of vaccines. They work differently, but their purpose is the same. They prevent disease. What a preventative vaccine is, is something you give to your body that stimulates an immune response so that if and when you're exposed to the natural infection, your body will already be prepared to respond. Certainly, the COVID vaccines fall into that category of being a preventative vaccines. So the vaccines are legitimate. And as for the second part of the claim, well, the CDC and Dr. Salman say existing vaccines don't change or interact with your DNA in any way. People think, oh my God, it's gonna change my DNA or it's somehow altering my DNA. And that's not the case at all. I mean, it's a technological approach. I mean, if you think about it, if you eat an apple, you've just eaten the DNA of an apple. That doesn't mean that it's gonna change your DNA. It's certainly not gonna turn you into an apple, right? So bottom line, these claims are false. With the Verify, I'm Jason Puckett. Jason, thanks. And as always, we want your questions on the vaccine and anything else that you want verified. You can send them to us on social media or at verify at WGRZ.com. And of course, we're always watching that text to line as well, 849-2200.